What if the moment you ask for something to become manifest in your world, it actually does. And all you needed to do was learn how to receive it. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I welcome you to today's gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to tell you how to bring something to you when you request it. But first, we begin every week with a happy share. Now, a happy share is all about something that leaves you feeling good or peaceful, makes you feel relaxed or happy. That's why it's called a happy share. And it's not about something that happened for somebody you know. And you felt happy because you felt good for them. It's something that left you feeling happy because it happened for you. And my happy share is this week I found a graphic artist. Uh, this young man, Andrew Chasen, is somebody I've been looking for for years and years and years and years. And now that I found him, we've already done a couple projects together. And I think he just might be the person I've been looking for for 20 years to do some things that I really needed exactly the right artist for. So that's my happy share. And now, let me talk with you about manifesting. You use your imagination to create your reality. Yes, you do. You know it's true. Your world reflects the thoughts you put out and exactly how you're thinking about each one. Together your feelings manifest the sum of what goes on inside your head. What if instead of doubt and fear, you think and feel only of what you want to hold near? And you know it's already here. All you need to do is act divinely to allow and receive it perfectly and timely. Your gut feeling is a communication of a step to take now to bring you closer to elation that raises your vibration so that you are in harmony with all you want to see in your reality. See only what you want in your world. See it in your world. See only what you want in your world. Live it in your world. Wow. You see, when you ask for something, and if it's right for you at the time, and in your highest and best interest, which is what divine timing is, the universe delivers it to you immediately. But you don't get to see it manifested or live it until you allow it in until you receive it in. And you do that by taking the steps the universe is telling you to take. You might have a gut feeling to take a certain, a very specific action. Go to a certain coffee shop on this day at this time. And it's just a gut feeling that seemingly came out of nowhere. Actually, it's the universe giving you a divine message because when you go there at that time, you're going to meet somebody who's going to help you move to the next step toward manifesting whatever this magnificent goal is that you want to create in your life. That's one kind of example. Follow your gut feeling. It's the universe talking to you. All kinds of synchronistic events are going to happen because the universe is going to deliver to the you step by step by step and each step is taking you closer to that feeling of elation closer to that frequency of vibration that you need to be on to manifest what you want in the world because everything you want vibrates up here and you got to get up there to be in harmony with that vibration to bring it into your reality. Now, if you're on a ministry site and you look up there, here's another way to help 
bring that to your reality even quicker. You will see, hold the space for it. And holding the space for it is exactly that. It's asking other people who know what you want to see you living that new reality exactly as you want it. So putting your name down there and exactly what you want to manifest in your life, I will also put it up on the page. Come back at least once a week. Tell all your friends, tell all your family, do the same. Go to the Hold the Space page, read every name and the request that's up there. Because you know what happens? It builds a thought form for it bigger and bigger and bigger. So the universe sees, wow, it's time to get moving on this. It's a reality that a lot of people are seeing for you. I'm really glad you came by here today. And if you haven't done so already, please go on over there and grab your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And if you found something of value here, please click like and share this message with people you know who may be looking for a home, a home where they can share their spirituality without being bogged down by the man-made rules of religion. I wish you a wonderful week of manifesting your reality by paying attention to having only in your thoughts in your feelings and in your world what you want. And you get rid of the fears and you get rid of the doubts. You're focusing on what you want and changing your energy. Wish you a week of blessings.